Well, that was awful as well as we welcome you to Philly's Post Game Live, presented by our friends at Cure Auto Insurance, Ricky Vitalico and Michael Barkan, John Cruck coming up in a moment from Fenway. So uh, not since their opening games at Atlanta have the Phillies had back-to-back -back losses this bad, 8-6 and tonight 9-3. There were 21 combined runs they gave up at Atlanta. This is further, further on in the season, Ricky Bo, but also three straight road series gone it's it's not time to panic all right let, let's start there I, I'm I'm starting to wonder more and more if this has something to do with this London series that they probably shouldn't have played in the middle of the season and the reason why, the reason why I say this is you could say all you want till you're blue in the face that oh well you know what Aaron Nola didn't even pitch there he just went over there and blah blah, blah. but he did have a ton of days off just to get to the point where he was pitching again. So it was because of this London series. And I, I mean, the team has looked flat the last couple games. I, I think that's pretty obvious to everybody. Um, but I, I mean, there's, there is no excuse in baseball. I understand that. But the starting pitching in the last two games has not been what it had been prior to that London series. And yeah. maybe it is a little disturbing for people because I'm a little disturbed by it now. I'm starting to wonder if they should even do this in the middle of the season. Well, let's 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 hold off on that. I hear what you're saying. Let's see what John Cruck has to say in Fenway Park. Called tonight's game with Tom McCarthy. John, it wasn't fun to watch. Certainly, we saw the same thing last night. A game they might have won. They dropped this series, their third straight road series that they have dropped. And when you look at this, and Ricky brought up London, we'll also bring up Aaron Nola on all those days rest. Although Zach Wheeler had the same thing and, and he pitched well the other night. What, what, what is going on here in your view? Yeah, it's just hard to say. You know, look, you had to expect at some point they weren't going to continue on with how hot they were and winning all these series and everything. And, uh, you know, the last three road series, they, they haven't won, uh, you know, Colorado and San Francisco now here in Boston. But – they're not going to make excuses. They're not going to blame London about this whole thing. Uh, but I, I can tell you this personally, I would have – look, first of all, we're creatures of habit in baseball, superstitious, whatever you want to call it, and we have routine. So you know when you want to, you know, have breakfast. You want to know when you have lunch. You want to know when you want to head over to the ballpark. You know, and that stuff goes away when you're in London for, for two games. Uh, you know, and then you have to come back here and – you know, rush through whatever you're doing here back in the States. And, you know, to me, uh, you know, I, I think trying to expand the game of baseball is a smart thing in the middle of the season, probably not so much. Um, but, you know, I, I think if you went over there for, for just two games, it, it's more like, you know, oh, wow, we're going on vacation. You know, we're going to, to London and we're going to see, uh, you know, Big Ben and all that other junk they have over there. I don't even know what else they got over there, but, you know, that's up to them. But, you know, I, I just I just I don't know. I, it 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 seem it would seem hard to me to get like a game like that over in London where you've never played before and then have to come back here and try to turn it back up again when you get back, uh, you know, in the States, especially in a place like Boston. Yeah, I'm not real thrilled about it. Um, let's talk a little bit about, well, I guess Aaron Nola tonight. I mean, this was. By far his worst outing. I, I mean, he did not look sharp in any aspect. No, no, his 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 command wasn't there. His uh, his his uh, knuckle curve, which you know he threw some good ones, but uh, he threw uh, he threw some ones that didn't have that normal bite on it. Uh, you know, especially you know to the lefties, away from the righties, and into the lefties. He threw a couple good ones, but for the most part, it wasn't there for him. And his fastball command is, you know, sinker and four-seamer. Uh, you know, he, he was just all over the place tonight. And you hope this is just, uh, you know, the effects of not pitching for a while. Uh, and, and he can bounce back uh, when the Phillies go back home against, I guess they play San Diego when they go back home after Baltimore, right? It's his next yeah, start. that's Monday. So, so hopefully, yeah, so hopefully he can, uh, you know, forget this one. Uh, you know, Rick, you were a pitcher. If you had a bad outing, was it easier to forget a bad outing or, or uh, uh, you know, well, go back at But you were a reliever, so you got to go back out probably the next day or yeah, day I had, after that. I had, a so I had a chance to go the next day. So, for me, it was like 
All right, take, yeah. take your half hour after the game, be ticked off, and then uh, get ready for tomorrow. John, let, yep. me, let, let, let me ask you this, because this team's barely lost multiple games or consecutive games throughout this mm -hmm. season. They're now 46-22, and 22, no longer the best record in baseball, but still this close to being there. Uh, you know me, the sky's always falling. I feel very comfortable about what's going on. This is a strong team. They got bats. They certainly have pitching. And I don't care if it sounds like an excuse. You go over to London and back, and they lost the last game against the Mets. They've lost now three out of their last four. But you go do that with the time change, with, with injuries, certainly. Trey Turner, Brandon Marsh, uh, and now you got yeah. JT Real Muto on the show. It's not excuses. It's just what's happening. I'm comfortable that this team's going to be okay. Hey, aren't you? Yeah, I, I, yeah, there's no panic, and, and I can tell you this: there's no panic in that in that locker room right now for the Phillies. Uh, they, they're very confident in what they can do. Um, and look, you know, it's like any team. You know, you look at how the Braves um, have, have been struggling without Acuna Jr., without Spencer Strider, um, and you know, Sosa's been great replacing Trey. Um, uh, you know, left field, uh, you know, Brandon Marsh played tonight. He had a couple hits from what I've been getting reports from. Uh, so it looks like he's pretty close. Hopefully we'll see him Saturday in Baltimore. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, and Trey, Trey looked great today working out, taking grounders and stuff. He looked like, uh, you know, like he's ready to go. So, uh, you know, the, the reinforcements are on the way, and they happen to be two really darn good players. And so, so, you know, look, when you lose guys like that, you know, you expect to take a, a, a downturn. But the Phillies have held their own with those two guys out, especially with Trey's been out a while. And now they have to do the same thing when Trey and, and, and Brandon come back uh, to make up for JT. Yeah. And so hopefully those guys come back, they get hot. JT can, uh, you know, take his time, make sure he's 100 percent before he comes back. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think there's going to be any panic because their pitching's too good to panic. Uh, yeah, I agree, John, and I would never do that, although I do point out April 3rd, after they lost the series to Cincinnati, fell to 2-4, and four, I did say the division was slipping away on April 3rd. There it is. It's over. Yeah, but then oh, they yeah, righted yeah. the you ship. Had, you had, they righted the ship. You had the, see, you had the season over. You should have just told them to go home, man. They said they're falling, way, playing. They're I, falling I way too far behind the Braves. It was That's like right. four games and, into the season. And by the way, nine games up on the Braves. The Braves win tonight, but they have the lar nine games is the largest division lead in baseball. So no one else can say that, and that's pretty good against Atlanta. So they're going to be fine. And then now yeah. I'm going home. All right. See you. See it tomorrow. <laughs> See you soon. All right. John Crock, the great John Crock, joining us from Fenway. Here are the standings in the National League East. Braves nine games back. Phillies 46 and 22, and then the also rans after uh, Atlanta. And by yeah. the way, that the opening series losses I was talking about, those were home losses, not away losses against the Braves. But nine games, I'll take it. No. Any day of the week. <laughs> Look at the Marlins hanging in there. Yeah, they are. The, I believe they're at the you bottom. Could, you could be the Marlins. Remember that. And I mean, the other thing that, that we can't sugarcoat, you just can't sugarcoat this. JT Romuto not being behind the plate is going to take away a little bit from the pitching staff. Thank you very much, Amy. And Barrett, Ricky Botalico, and Michael Bosch. This is Merrill this Reese. This is Merrill Reese. No one more deserving than a Hall of Fame spot than Merrill Reese, who's been a Hall of Famer his entire career. Certainly that caliber of broadcaster. Congratulations, Merrill. And if we could, because of tonight's loss, we go right to Bird's Hall right now. But you want to hear from Rob Thompson and all the principals in a tough Phillies loss. Here is Topper post game. Lots of hard contact off and all. Is mm -hmm. it just leaving too many balls off in the zone? Yep. That's exactly what it is. I think he, he threw one breaking ball in the dirt, and that was in the first inning. And uh, yeah, he hung some breaking balls. Fastball was up, kind of came back over the plate quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it's one of those days. First two innings, there was a ton of it. Third innings, like maybe you could settle in there, and then just like, yeah, in the fourth. Yeah, and we put some good at bats on him in the third inning there, and scored three and got back in it, and then they they came right back and answered. So. Do you think the layoff, like the, he hadn't pitched since June? Yeah, could have been. Could have been. Do you think that just the general disruption of routine might be catching up to 
lot of your guys, just given it's it's unusual. Yeah, I you mean, know, you maybe. Don't want to, yeah. But you got to overcome it. You know, you got to keep keep grinding and keep battling. Um, so, other days ahead. I mean, we're due for one of these too. We haven't had one of these since second game in Cincinnati, I think. Yeah. So, uh, we just got to come back tomorrow and get going. Well, what impressed you about Tanner Howe tonight? He's got good stuff. He throws strikes. He comes right after you. The split's good. The slider's good. Heavy sink on his fastball. Keeps the ball on the ground. Throws strikes. Yeah, he's one of the better pitchers in the American League. A lot of lines are bouncing back. It doesn't get any easier tomorrow. No. Nope. Tomorrow's playing well. Tough trip there. Say anything or anything like that or just kind of? They know what's ahead of them. They're grown men. They know what's going on, so they're going to be fine. And yeah, what kind of challenges is it though? I mean, it should be packed stadium. You don't, guys don't see the Orioles a lot. Huh? You don't see the Orioles a lot. No, they're a good club. Yeah. It's a good test. Yeah. yeah. It's a good test for them too. We're going to be we're going to be fine, says Rob Thompson. I'm hanging on to those words. Said we're due for one. He said, these. yeah, we haven't had a loss like this since the second game at Cincinnati. That was an eight one loss April twenty third at the Reds. So, yeah, so I don't I mean, know if I you know. Wait, what is, how did that sound to you when you hear a manager say that we're due for one of these? I, I think it's one of those things where, you know what, message to the team type thing. Okay, we've, been, we've gotten our heads beat in before this year, and what did we do after that? I think that's more or less the message that he's going to send his team. Him, him specifying the game is very interesting to me because he's telling the team, hey, it, this already happened once, so don't worry about this. We can bounce back from this. That's what he's trying to tell everybody. And it's true. They did, they have, and they will. He says. I just don't like the fact, that, let's face it, I don't like the fact that Aaron Nola looked really bad today and Christopher Sanchez looked bad yesterday. So, but uh, can you, take, you write it off to inactivity? I think, it, I think it's 100% uh, because of this whole London, not necessarily just the trip, all the days that were involved in it, yes, 100%. At Reading, and then maybe and then see him during it. the Baltimore series. I think series. it's going to be it. I mean, he wasn't out that long, so I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he plays outfield tomorrow, starts roaming a little bit, feels good, and out the door. By the way, speaking of Baltimore, how about a little rematch, 1983? Uh, that would what be do you nice. think of that, World Series? That would work for me. I just want this team to get back on track. It's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the Mets won two games you told well, me. That, well, that was Carolyn. Hang on. Let me, I don't let, care let, what let, she says. Yeah, well, Carolyn tweeted at us, how can you blame the trip to London, time change, distractions, travel, etc., for the Phillies' loss to the Red Sox when the Mets came back from the same trip and beat the Marlins two games? Because the Mets have stunk all year. The Phillies were on a nice little adrenaline rush going in there. How's that? Thank you, Carolyn. Appreciate it. And I knew he would answer forthrightly, and he did. Way to leave me out of the tweet, what, too. What, don't do that again, Carolyn. What about Aaron Nola? Struggles tonight in his return. Hadn't pitched since last Wednesday against Milwaukee. Here's Nola post game. Struggling with command or certain pitch can hit problems. Yeah, struggling with command. Oh, struggling to get the ball down. All my pitches. Um, I like the only pitch I was kind of down was a change up. I uh, left a few of those up, though. But, I mean, just bad command. Did you have a feel in the bullpen before the game and just kind of took them out? Or no, I felt fine in the bullpen. I don't know. I just still left some balls up and they didn't miss them. Bound to happen throughout the course of the year. So how easy is it to turn the page? I mean, I'm going to flush this one pretty quick. I mean, these are not easy. You know, it's different. Give up four runs, eight runs. You know, I mean, it's... I gave up, you know, those those first four. I mean, I, the team's in a better chance to score some runs, and then I give up the next four. It's a little bit harder to come back on that. So obviously, uh, this one's tough. But I'm gonna flush it and move on. Uh, get, get prepared for what? Get prepared for my next time. Did you feel the effects of like um, the travel or like London series at all? You hadn't pitched since June 5th, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. But I uh, tried to get myself prepared and ready to go through that to that time and try to get my body ready and healthy throughout that time. Uh, travel was tough and obviously kind of get tight in certain places, but I felt like um, I got everything out yesterday and mm -hmm. uh, I felt good going into the game today. As a team, you guys know the stretch when you're first kind of rush of the year, all the travel, you lose JT a couple days ago, next year's going to Baltimore. I'm confident you feel that you guys are going to 
just kind of get back to where you were? Yeah, it's one series, man. I mean, we've been on a pretty good roll, and um, we're bound to lose a series uh, here and there throughout the year. It's a long season, so just face up a team that's swung the bat pretty well right there and pitched pitch the ball pretty well, so um, we moved past this one, and we got a lot more series ahead of us, and we go to Baltimore and play another good team.